What can sink ships, break sharks, fight whales, live in the depths in complete darkness, and remain invisible to science for almost the entire 20th century? It has eyes the size of a soccer ball, a beak stronger than steel, and tentacles with claws. Scientists call it the most elusive creature on the planet. Can you guess what it is? Get ready for the strangest story about the ocean, a creature that hides better than any spy, fights harder than any predator, sees in the dark better than any owl, lays eggs scarier than any horror movie, and remains a mystery to science for 200 years. Welcome to the world of giant squids. Giant squids are among the most elusive creatures in the world. Seeing a large specimen alive is colossal luck. Marine biologist Richard Ellis called them the most elusive image in natural history. The first photograph of a living adult squid in its natural environment was taken only in 2004. People knew about them since the time of Aristotle, but managed to document them only in the 21st century. The first video was shot in 2006, then a huge gap until 2019. Why such problems? Squids simply don't want to be studied. They live at great depths in complete darkness where ordinary submersibles are useless. They see bright lights in advance and swim away. Scientists had to create a special design with dim red lights instead of bright white ones. The squid's massive eye can't distinguish this light. Plus, they added a glowing lure. Only this way did they manage to outsmart the sea ghosts. The giant squid has eyes the size of a soccer ball, diameter no less than 10 inches. These are the largest eyes on the planet. Even the blue whale has eyes only 4 inches wide. Why such huge eyes? It's all about sperm whales. Giant eyes are excellent at detecting large objects emitting light at depths of over 1,600 feet, perfect for spotting a predator in time. But sperm whales don't glow? They do glow. When whales dive, they bump into jellyfish and crustaceans, which flash. These faint outlines squids detect even at a distance of 400 feet and quickly escape. Evolution turned their eyes into perfect detectors. But when it's too late to run, the squid goes on the attack. Scientists managed to test the beak of the Peruvian Chilean giant squid. It's so strong it can break through two Kevlar plates, and Kevlar is 20 times stronger than steel. This makes the squid's bite one of the strongest in the world. Preliminary data showed that the bite force exceeds 1,000 pounds, more than a spotted hyena. But the specimen they tested wasn't the largest. There are much bigger squids, meaning their bite force would be even greater. It's not ruled out that their beaks are strong enough to bite through a human arm along with the bone. One of the strongest bites in the ocean, plus powerful tentacles with sharp suckers that dig into the skin, and claws in those suckers, a real killing machine. The main target, sperm whales. Giant squids are the favorite food of sperm whales. To catch them, whales dive to depths of several miles. Perhaps once, squids swam closer to the surface, but sperm whales force them to go deeper. When a sperm whale approaches, the squid wraps it with tentacles and digs in with suckers. The beak inflicts serious wounds. Researchers often encounter sperm whales covered in scars from battles. Meanwhile, sperm whale skin reaches a thickness of 14 inches, the thickest among modern animals. Perhaps this is evolutionary armor against squids, but even it doesn't save them. There in the ocean abyss, epic battles occur. Darkness, pressure, monstrous sizes, battles of titans. Also in 2004, a fisherman discovered a giant squid in his nets. The monster was taken to London. It took 10 people to move it. The work was hard, plus the dead squid released ammonia. But now there's a specimen 28 feet long in the London Natural History Museum. That's a lot, but not the limit. According to research, the length can reach 65 feet, longer than a school bus. Somewhere in the ocean swim creatures with powerful beaks, claws, and tentacles capable of wrapping around a small house. When the study was published, it caused controversy. Perhaps the data is outdated, but theoretically anything is possible. Considering we know almost nothing, we can't rule out larger specimens. In October 2016, a young giant squid washed up on the beach, a sexually immature female weighing 230 pounds. Deep wound on the mantle, two tentacles torn, skin marked with sucker scars. All this was done by another squid. The reason? Food piracy. 
A large squid attacked to steal food, a brutal battle. Squids even attack great white sharks. Actually, sharks hunt squids, but they don't surrender without a fight. The encounters are so aggressive that sharks get monstrous scars. Round marks from suckers are found on sharks of various species around the world. In the depths occur battles we can only guess at. Sometimes these battles involve humans. In 2007, a squid attacked researchers submersible in the Bering Sea. Scientists were surprised, but the squids were even more surprised. They live at a depth of about 1,000 feet where there's little light. They completely didn't expect to encounter a glowing apparatus. They decided it was a large glowing anchovy, began hunting. They clung to the lights, attacked with beaks. One got sucked into the engine. This is a favorable outcome because in 1874, according to newspaper reports, a squid attacked the schooner Pearl in the Bay of Bengal and sank it. The story even made it into the London Times. According to witnesses, a huge monster dragged the ship to the bottom. Two crew members died. However, it's unclear how true the story is. No evidence has survived. In 2003, French sailors in the Jules Verne Trophy encountered a squid Tentacles thicker than a leg blocked the rudder. The squid strongly pulled the boat. There was nothing to attack with. The sailors stopped the vessel. The squid lost interest. There are at least 10 such confirmed cases. Look at squid eggs. A huge drop with strange contents. A ball of slime several yards in diameter. The large egg carries thousands of small eggs. It's unknown how squids produce these masses and why they're huge. Scientists believe that the female lays a small clot, which then expands on contact with seawater, swelling to enormous proportions. Seeing or filming this is incredibly lucky. Squids lay their eggs at great depths, and then they sink even lower. Scientists don't know why the formations inside the clot are needed. Perhaps it's male ink, or maybe camouflage from predators. Giant squids remain a mystery. We know almost nothing about their biology, reproduction, and maximum size. Somewhere in the ocean swim monsters the size of a bus, armed with beaks stronger than steel. They sink ships, tear sharks, and lay alien eggs. And we can photograph them only a few times in a hundred years. The ocean keeps its secrets. See you soon.